Dr. Schneider has an MBA from Harvard and a medical degree from New York University. Uh, Dr. Schneider has been freelancing with Dan Connors over the last few months. I'm Dr. Philip Schneider. When I was first asked to come in and speak tonight, they asked me when I might like to go on, and I thought about it, and I finally said I was wondering if you could put me on after a long day of meetings, in between cocktails, dinner, and your award ceremony, so that way you're all tired, hungry, anxious, and somewhat buzzed or inebriated. And could you hold the meeting in the exciting city of Columbus, Ohio? <laughs> With that in mind, I do want to tell you I am very happy to be here, and I'm having a really good time staying here at the Hilton Easton. On the other hand, any time I can spend like 17 bucks for an English muffin, <laughs> sign it away from room service at your company's expense, <laughs> I'm having a really good time. <laughs> and the fact is, having said that, I think you guys are terrific, evidenced by the fact that your company, Sarnova, was recently rated as one of the top five medical supply firms of its size and kind in the country in both GEMS and respiratory care magazines which frankly is not as impressive as it sounds, considering there are only about five medical supply companies. <laughs> and I say all this tonight despite the fact that I know some of you might feel my presence is not really needed and in a way is interfering. And I'm here to tell you that's true. My presence is not really needed in a way it is interfering, but we thought you should know what it feels like when you go around to all your clients and customers and annoy the heck out of all of them. <laughs> Having said all that, it's vital to be able to predict the future even though predictions depend on your attitude. For example, some people like Jennifer Fisher and Ezra Pearson from Trianum and Mark Vetter from Boundary all have such a positive attitude, they look at half a glass of water, they see it as half full. Personally, I'm a lot more negative. I see half a glass of water, I see it as half empty. In contrast to Dave Tomlin from Boundary and Terry Caldwell from Trianamem, who both worry about so many piddling little nitpicky product details all the time, they basically see the bacteria in the water. <laughs> That's why I admire that you've all come together from two great groups, Boundary and Triaminem, Pinlane and Peanut, <laughs> and unified tonight to celebrate as one team, to join together despite the fact that most of you could basically care less that the others even exist. <laughs> and that's why our common goal tonight is to make fun of EMP, because there's only two of them here to defend themselves. <laughs> I hope by now you figured out I am not a consultant to the White House or a doctor, and if you have not figured that out, by God, you're fired. <laughs> I am actually a stand-up comedian from Long Island, New York, and the reason I am really here tonight is to talk to you all about Amway products. <laughs> Thank you very much.